know why, but I feel like this is partially my fault. Well, maybe you feel that way because every part of this is your fault. I need a new ankle because you wanted a bean-filled platypus. I would never even have asked if I'd known that Barry was going to be there getting the same darn beanie baby for the same darn girl. Wait, what? What? Darn girl who? Who? What? Laney who? Laney who? What? You know who what? You telling me I need a new ankle because you wanted to break up my friend and the love of her life? Y y y yes What is wrong with you? Laney would never leave Barry. That dude's the best. Yeah, well, everyone says that, but I just don't see it. Well, you gotta get to know him. I do know him. He's immature and clueless and dopey, and honestly, I don't even understand how that ass clown became a doctor. Good news, coach. Took a peek at your file. Seems like the doctor on call thought he saw a fracture, but the cortices are intact, so it's just a ligamentous problem. Okay, those are the words of a very skilled doctor. I know. You probably think I'm just some clueless, dopey ass clown. What? No. My whole life, I always made a bad first impression. I get nervous around new people, and then I overcompensate by calling myself Big Tasty and Rap and Nunchuck. This is all very self-aware. All thanks to Lainey. She's the first person I could be myself around. But now that we went through this together, we're bros. And now you can see the real me. He good. I like. Thanks, CB. Anyway, it's just a bad sprain. No need for surgery. Sweet Lord, you saved my ankle's life. My ankle will never forget this kindness, Doc Barry. Here, for the patient's helper. I'll go get you discharged. You were saying? I see it now. That amazing bastard is the best guy ever. Why didn't you just tell me this was about Laney? You could have avoided this whole mess. I'm sorry. I guess I just wanted to believe that I had a shot, but I get it now. Uh, it's time to move on.